Rose. Your new strawweight world champion, Rose Namajunas, Thug Rose. I don't even know what to say to you right now because you seem so calm and collected while the rest of us were going bananas when you won that fight. Tell me exactly what went through your mind when the ref stopped it. Uh, I did it. It was uh, definitely, I, I thought it was going to be a little bit more of a struggle. Um, you know, I kind of saw certain things in my head beforehand. I thought I was going to be finished in the third round for some reason, but I'll take I'll take a first round finish. Yeah, three oh three in the first round. Uh, very similar to a gym you train at. Coincidence? Yeah, I, I don't believe in coincidences <laughs> no more. Like that's uh, I don't know. It's it's crazy. Definitely like a movie or something. <laughs> I, I know you train with some of the best, you know, Trevor Whitman, he always says it's the basics. It's the basics that are gonna get us there, the fundamentals, you did all of that, right? But what really did you see when studying you on it throughout this process that made you say, I got this, I know exactly what to do and what to exploit? Yeah, um, I think just, uh, it, she goes forward and back, you know, she doesn't really take many angles, so um, she's really strong and stuff, but uh, I just, with all the rounds with uh, Valentina Shevchenko and her sister Antonina, they're they're so amazing, and I, I kind of you know they're super high level striking. So I I deal with super high level striking all the time. Trevor Whitman, um, Pat Berry, you know, they they tell me everything I know. When you looked at this matchup, did you know you were going to finish it by striking? Because a lot of people, a lot of experts thought if she, if Rose gets the finish, it's going to come by the slick submission. Yeah, um, you know we we. Uh, we feel like a lot of the ways that you know other uh, girls have approached her in the fights, maybe not every one of them, but they're very desperate for the takedown. And if you can shut down somebody's strength, um, then then you can beat them anywhere. Yeah. How much did all of the mental warfare really affect you, if at all? I know you seem cool, calm, and collected both on stage and off stage when I saw you. But was it ever something you you thought about afterwards? Uh, did I ever think about being calm and collected, or no? That uh, the things that she was saying to you. Oh yeah, I mean, I I try to put her out of my head as much as possible. You know, of course, you know she's a Jedi master at mind control. You know, but she can't control me, and um, that's that was just a the the key to this fight was controlling myself and, and my own my own thoughts and my own emotions, regardless of what's going on around me. Um, they didn't even play my right out walkout song or anything like that, so I was a little thrown off at. at Hey, I was thrown off a little bit with that too. So um, I just, I just kept telling myself, like, you know, just stay calm and, uh, you know, yeah, confident, uh, conditioned, composed, content. I'm a champion. Yeah, it certainly all worked out. What was your walkout song supposed to be? It's "Sweet Freedom" by Michael McDonald, and uh, yeah, I was a little bummed. <laughs> Were you thrown off? Did you just start walking and be like, wait, oh, what? The, I don't know what song they played, but it was the worst song ever. <laughs> like, uh, it was terrible. Oh, no, we are just certainly going to need to fix that. Um, yeah. I know that this is such a hard question to ask people, but what do you want to do next? Go home. Yeah. Was this a hard week being here in New York for you? Very hard. This is not my element, you know. Uh, I was born and raised in the city, but I prefer to be, uh, I prefer to be home in Colorado. And, um, you know, I really appreciate the city for, you know, just this experience. And um, it's, it's a great fight energy here. This this arena it was amazing. Um, but ain't no place like home. <laughs> yeah, I know. And I know that you love nature and being outside. Um, before I let you go, you know, something that Pat had told me a couple of fights ago with you is that if you can be in a confident mental state, in a calm mental state, that you could conquer the world. Do you feel like that's kind of been the page turner for you and the key to success in these past few fights? Yeah, for sure. It's uh, always controlling my breathing, you know, not not paying attention to uh, to feelings as much, you know. Obviously, um, you know, feelings are just feelings. They they should guide you, but they shouldn't control you. And, um, you know, you can choose whatever thoughts you want. Yeah, and, and you chose to think positively and become a world champion, Rose. This is insane. Do you think now you're going to have the target on your back and all these girls are going to start calling you out the way they did with former champions of Joanna? Sure, yeah, I mean, yeah, sure. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I, I, there was already, you know, some of that before this fight, so um, I expect all of that, and um, ain't nothing but love. <laughs> Man, I cannot wait to see you back in the Octagon. Rose, you are one of the most deserving people that I have ever met. Congratulations. It has been an honor to speak to you through this process, and a joy to see you win that belt. Congrats. Yeah, thank you. Thanks.